first memories are of Sunday mornings. Um, my house was filled with the smells of bacon and eggs and fresh coffee. And then little by little, things began to shift and change. My dad began to change. Uh, the best way I can describe it is he was starting to feel dirty to me. Uh, I would soon learn that he was, he had a disease and he was an addict. I uh, talked to my sister and I and I had to make the decision to um, let him go. And one day I was in my apartment in New York and he called me to tell me my uncle who was 15 years sober had relapsed. And that's when I really lost it. Uh, I had said everything to him that I had always wanted to say that was I was hiding. And he just listened um, and just kept saying I know. And then he understood and how sorry he was. And at that point I didn't need him to say sorry because I could see it in his face, I could see it in his eyes and the, the year that we've had 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 together that he really was sorry and that he felt just as bad, if not worse, about the way he hurt me, my sister, my mom. And so from that point on, my dad and I started to have the most amazing relationship. I got a call from my dad and he uh, said that he needed to talk to me. We knew he was getting some tests done and he told me he uh, had bladder cancer. I remember I just, I fell to my knees and I just said, no. On February 5th, In 2016, I got a call, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., from hospice care that it wasn't going to be much longer. Um, and so I was driving over, praying that I'd get to speak with him maybe one more time, but when I got there, he had passed. <laughs> 